Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Clear Thoughts. Today we are going to unbox and review Entree 3-in-1 Pasta Roller and Cutter Attachment for Stand Mixer. Uh, this is a 3-in-1 attachment uh, which can be used to make uh, spaghetti, fettuccine noodles and uh, lasagna at home using stand mixers like uh, KitchenAid or any other stand mixers. Most of them uh, are like compatible. Uh, let us see what do we have in the box. Uh, we'll uh, cut the box. Uh, okay. And then we'll see what are the attachments, uh, what is in the box. Okay, let's keep this aside. This is a kind of a 1.6 kilogram in weight total uh, attachment. We have a thank you card. We have a product manual. I think this is a cleaning brush. Nice. And then we have the actual pasta roller and cutter attachment. This is heavy. This is around 1.6 kilogram as I said. Uh, this is a, a plastic body on top. Uh, there are blades which are made up of steel. Uh, we will see how it works. And there is a screw attachment. So this can be used to uh, fit it in. Uh, so this is what we have in the box. Let's keep the box aside. And we'll talk about the attachment. So this... Uh, this is actually a three-in-one pasta roller and cutter attachment uh, and it has a, a knob uh, with uh, with eight gears in it so you can see there are eight gears marked here here you uh, maybe it is not very clear but eight gears which can be used to adjust the thickness of a pasta sheet uh, or uh, fettuccine noodles or lasagna so this uh, goes in the stand mixer and here you can adjust the thickness of uh, pasta uh, the brush can be used to clean uh, the stuff which get stuck inside and uh, we will actually um, uh, attach this to a stand mixer KitchenAid stand mixer and see how it works. Um, we will also talk about the uh, the pros and cons of this. Okay, so now uh, we are trying to attach um, the Anthri uh, three-in-one pasta roller attachment uh, with the KitchenAid stand mixer. So first, uh, we unscrew this uh, and try to insert the attachment it's very simple and then we tighten the screw and see if it is firm yes it is and you can see uh, this is the knob we were talking about to adjust the thickness of uh, pasta and you can pull the knob and rotate it has settings from 1 to 8 uh, 8 being the thinner uh, now we can actually see how it rotates, uh, you can see it makes a little sound, it is a mixer sound and nothing to do with the pasta attachment and now we will try uh, with uh, a dough. So I prepared uh, the dough for our uh, pasta and uh, we'll try first with the sheet roller and then we go to fettuccine and then we uh, try out the spaghetti noodles so let's try it currently i put it on the setting four so you can see with four uh, the sheet rolled up like this. Uh, I think I need a little bit uh, thinner. So I'll move to another setting. Uh, let's try six. Four. 
5 and 6. Let's try it out. Yes, this is the this is the thickness I wanted. So now we will try uh, with uh, fettuccine cutter and spaghetti. Let me start the machine. Mm. So you can see how nicely it prepared the fettuccine and we'll see now the spaghetti noodles. spaghetti noodles with the setting 6 uh, you can decrease uh, the thickness uh, further by going to setting 7 8 like whatever you like but I think uh, this prepared very nicely and it is easy uh, it can be done single-handedly and and I like it the way it is it can be prepared the, the ease and the product is quite uh, good Let's talk about the pros and cons uh, of uh, Entree 3-in-1 Pasta Roller and Cutter Attachment. So as we saw, uh, the 3-in-1 blade help you uh, to do all the task without replacing the blades, uh, one in uh, all, uh, So which is good. Uh, this is uh, cost effective. Uh, it is in the range of like $100. Uh, the thickness adjustment is also a plus point. You can adjust the thickness from uh, setting number one till eight. So you can adjust the thickness of your choice. Uh, in terms of the cons, we can talk about um, the body, the plastic body. Uh, it It is kind of a nice, but uh, if it would have been on in steel made, it would be better. Uh, Cutting may not be very smooth, but I have to try it out multiple times uh, so that we can find out more when we try it more. Uh, cleaning is not easy, which we uh, saw. You have to do a little bit of uh, extra effort. You have to open the lid, then you have to clean like using the brush, but they provided a brush with it, which is good. And the last thing which I think could have been improved is the the setting numbers which is not easy to read so that can be improved by making it more uh, clearly visible so those are the pros and cons i think i like it overall uh, this is a good product but you can uh, try and see if you like the if you like the video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you we'll come back with a new video Bye-bye.